Hello, hello. Welcome to my spare bedroom where today we're going to do an unboxing for Colored Rain. I saw some major sales being advertised to me uh, from Colored Rain. So I ordered an entire box of so many items. I think the most expensive item in here was a eyeshadow bundle, which added up to $11.52. So my most expensive uh, um, product in this is about $12. Overall, I paid $62.39. I didn't pay any shipping. I didn't pay any taxes based off where I live. And so this is just a live unboxing, live reaction. I've never tried this brand before. I hadn't completely seen all the products provided. But let's start with this. It looks like this is the Just Peachy Highlighter. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember even clicking on this to pick it up. Just Peachy Pressed Highlighter. Okay. It looks like I paid um, $3 for this. So it's a highlighter. Let's open it up. Whoa. Okay. That's nice. That's a nice pretty, but is indeed a peachy color. That's quite intense already. It definitely looks like it says Pressed Highlighter. But that also very much looks like a blush highlighter. That's very intense. Okay, so that's the first item. Let's pull. Let's just pull these two out. I think they're both. So we have Beautiful and Honey, I'm Home. Are these... So these are liquid lipsticks, and each of these costs $2.70. These are from the Queen Bee collection. So let's open these up. I should be able to open them from the top. Okay. So we have a kind of an orange-based, peachy brown kind of color, and this one is, that's beautiful. And then the other one we have is the Honey I'm Home shade. Honey I'm Home looks like to be of a more intense kind of orange shade, is what I'm seeing. I'm kind of worried because I'm seeing some cracks here, which makes it, obviously, it makes it seem old. But hopefully it should still apply if you give it a quick mix. There shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let me give it a smell. No, oh, it smells... It doesn't smell bad. Okay. So there's the wand. A little worried because it looks like it is older product, but that's probably why it was on sale, honestly. So I don't mind too much as long as I can revive it. We should be fine. I'm more concerned about how the product ultimately ends up wearing. Hopefully these liquid lipsticks aren't too dry and I won't have to pass them along. But like the next one, Busy B, B Please. Oh, Satin Lipstick Duo. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get both of these together. Satin Lipstick Duo. So, Queen Bee Lipstick Duo. I got this for $3.60. So, two lipsticks for $3.60. Let's pull this. Wow! Look at the sheen on that. That's so cute. And they have little bees. That's freaking adorable open it all right there's like a slight it's not completely smooth I don't know if you can tell there it's like a slightly textured pattern doesn't smell strangely of anything so that's good Let's get this other one this one's the darker one very pretty usually I never I've never had a bad lipstick usually a you know a bullet lipstick is a good bullet lipstick is my experience so that was Busy B and B Please, I guess is the name of the lipsticks. So so should be cute. As you can tell, so I, if you don't know this, I absolutely love yellow. There was a Queen Bee collection with um, yellow in the palette. So let's pull that out now that we're done the other ones. So this is, it's so small. It's so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so this is the Queen Bee Press Pigment Palette. This cost me $5.76. Ooh, that packaging is really nice. That's some really nice packaging there. So it looks like it's just a push. Ooh, that carton is tight. Oh. oh, it moves! That is so cute! Okay, then we open it up. Wow. So I remember Allie Dawson saying that this is one of her favorite color stories, some of her favorite eyeshadows. I think for, it must have been 2023, I think, for last year. There is a yellow in here. I love yellow. You have a very interesting kind of gold shade in here. This is definitely like a very small travel friendly palette. We'll see how it, this ends up performing, but very pretty. And it has the bees with the little crown. 
I love that. That's so cute. It's very nice packaging for, what was it, less than six dollars? This is really nice. I imagine, I imagine that this quality is kind of like Juvia's palette. Juvia's place, I mean. So this is, what is this? This is the Safari Rain palette. Safari Rain, this is nine dollars. So this is one of the more expensive palettes. I think this is quite one of their more older palettes. Oh, they're really in there. These are hard to get out. Ugh. So we have here Colored Rain, and as you can imagine, lots of grungy green shades. I really like green, so I thought this would be really nice. Plus we got some golds in here, the browns. I definitely think this is giving Safari. Just a very nice, simple palette. I didn't know if I wanted it, but I thought I'd rather just buy it now while it's on sale than, you know, think about it later and be mad at myself for not having bought it. <laughs> but very nice, simple packaging on this one. Colors look nice. We'll see ultimately how the shimmers go, but let's continue. Oh man, let's, okay, let's, there should be more what we have. Okay, so I got, I bought three brushes. This is, just, it just says shadow brush. They're green. This one has more of a, this is a round brush, a hue. I wanted more um, brushes with this kind of just tapered flat brush. Um, let's see what the prices on these were. So I got these the green brushes. The, these are from the Safari collection. These, it's the same brush. It's the Safari eyeshadow brush. And I got these for $2.45 each. And this one, the, this brush with the white bristles, I got this for $2.45 as well. So they were, they're all $2.45 it looks like. Looks like I got some, these must be liquid lipsticks I ordered. So this is a moi. <laughs> Let's see, what is moi? Moi is, oh, it is a matte liquid lipstick. I got this for $5. Okay. Ooh, very bright, bright pink. It's almost giving like a light red, like a muted red versus a pink, but very interesting. Let me give it a, a sniff. Let's do a sniff test. I think it just smells like product. This doesn't particularly smell too strong of anything, but this is moi. We'll see how that ends up going. Like always, I hope that it's not like super dry. This is honey and mustard. Y'all already know. I freaking love yellow. So this is a limited edition matte liquid lip, and I got this for $3, which kind of obvious why. It's a yellow liquid lip. It's not a very common color for a lot of people to want, but I do like my Jeffree Star yellow liquid lips, and I'm happy to add more yellow to my collection. So it looks like they're probably all going to come in this pink component, because they're, they all have the pink top so far. Let's look at this third one. So this third one should be, let's see, Ocean Glow Lip Veil. This one was $3. So you can see there it says Ocean Glow. This is colored rain. May your lipstick game always be fierce. Ingredients, metallic matte lip Ocean Glow. Let's open this one up. Yep, so it looks like the components for this brand are, are pink. And then I don't know if you could tell there, ooh, it's like, blue with a slight either gold or silver kind of sheen to it but it's definitely very interesting i don't have too many blue lipsticks but i thought it would be daring and get myself another one just to try from the brand this was only three dollars so i thought for three dollars it was worth a try next we have the wealthy palette this was 576 Ooh, that's a nice little sheen to it that one was easier to remove and if you can't tell by the outside i love green <laughs> I'm sure I already have this in other palettes, but I thought for $5.76, so I didn't have to pay shipping, I'm like, girl, I'll try it out. You got those two pretty shimmers there. I may end up just trying it and then just giving it away. Um, it looks really nice, but who knows how much, how well it actually applies. We'll see. I think if I were to guess, I would say that these will probably apply very well. Um, maybe not outstanding, but we'll see how it goes. Looks very pretty. Let's see if I can get it to... There you go. Those look pretty nice. Lastly, we have this Botanical and Rose Garden Palette Bundle for eleven fifty two. So that puts it at what, like maybe five something for each palette. 
Um, let's see if we can get these opened up because it looks like there is some tape on them so we can see these shades. I think these are also from before. I don't think these are too new. I feel like these are from a couple years before. So this is Rose Garden. These are all quite small. Ooh. Definitely giving Rose Garden. So we got some gold, some green in there, your pinks and your browns. Very simple, six pan eyeshadow. And I think all of these have had a mirror in them. I like the outside, it just says Rose Garden. Very simple. Um, these feel all very travel friendly so far. And then here's the last palette. This is Botanical. Pull that out. It looks pretty much exactly the same as it does on the outside. And there's ingredients on the back. This one also kind of has roses on it. Oh, I think it's the same picture. Is it the same picture? It's the same damn picture. I just realized it's the same picture but with different colors. So I wonder if this is going to be more... Okay. I feel like this one's a... This one feels a little bit darker than the other one. So you have these maroons in here. You have a darker brown. You have your nice light gold and this cream color over here, but then you also have this dark green right there. So that's quite pretty. Thank you so much for watching this kind of quick unboxing and seeing these palettes. I thought they were going to be a bit bigger. I honestly thought I was going to get a much bigger box than what I ended up receiving. But I think for all these items, I don't think that's the price was too bad. I think if I counted right, I believe I got like 15 different items from Colored Rain. Um, I'm really happy with the pricing. We'll see ultimately what happens with these palettes. But thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope you all have a great day.